Today we're looking at the Barbie color reveal puppy coming up after this. Okay, there's been a lot of these reviewed and I'm kind of late to the game because I'm Canadian, but I ordered them from Amazon as soon as they showed up there and I just got one today and the others haven't shipped yet, but I guess they're all going to ship soon, I hope. I'm excited to get them all. I think they're really awesome and I'm going to review these in a different way. If you've seen some of my prestige B, uh, BM, B, BTS, I don't know, I guess that's what they're called, the BTS dolls. I have no way of knowing that uh, Korean band. Anyway, what I do is I take the individual pieces, I break them down and I use them on some other dolls and I saw huge potential in these, even though the furry character itself looks really, really cute. Let's open it. So there's a lid. It was taped on. I took off the tape. You can see the little fluff inside. There's no mystery to who you're getting. The surprises are the fact that you get to open up the little envelopes inside and take off the lid. Mine came in this plastic bag, which I loved, so that means nobody was feeling my fur. And then inside, you can do that. Dump it out. Oh, all of the surprises are coming out. And I kind of just want to put this on a shelf as is and enjoy it. It's so unusual. It's so different. Very, do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of that game that all you kids are in, Fortnite. Actually, which brings me to the characters we'll be dressing up. So this Barbie style doll will be modeling the skirt and this guy, this guy, whoa, whoa, she just did a backflip off the ring. This Ken Owen from Jurassic World on a Superman body, he will be putting on the head because as soon as I saw those heads, that's what I thought. I don't know what movie reference I'm getting this from, but it just it just seems right. And then this guy right here, this Puma boy, he's on the BTS bodies. Maybe I am saying it right. And I am curious to see if he can wear the pants. And this Barbie in her simple LBD little black dress, she is going to be testing out the fur coat. Let's get to this cute little thing. It looks like a bunny, but it's a floppy eared puppy, kind of like what I got going on. That's what they do call it a puppy, but it does look like a floppy eared bunny. It's the gray color. It's cute. I don't know a lot of gray puppies. Did you know a gray puppy? There's a hair coming out. That means that there's hair. Feet are cute. I had a hunch that they would be rubbery. I think this is the only pet that has different colored paws and yeah, different colored paws, back paws, front paws. Let's take off her head. So that is what it is. This is not necessarily an elastic. Oh, I don't like the material that this is made out of. And the edge isn't finished either. That's a surprise to me. It's the same thin lining that they have inside. You can feel the backs of the buttons for the eyes and the nose. So button eyes, button nose, that's cute. Little heart blushing going on there. Really super soft. So 100% synthetic material. But this is, let's just put him in his costume. Maybe that's, it must be, it must be Fortnite is where I'm getting this idea from then. So yeah, I think that is amazing. Kind of Tarantino film so good that is a great look i am happy with the colors and everything and the little silver on his machine gun you know matches his fur color that looks excellent i guess i can't wait to take a picture of that on instagram i didn't even pay attention to the girl oh she's cute she's really cute i'm excited about the bodies on these things we'll get to that soon hair is soft 
It feels like if you have the new mermaids, they have really long hair. There's the one that has light, light blue hair, and it seems to be the same hair as that, so it's kind of plasticky, but yet it's still really soft. All right, that's what her face looks like, and all of these have more makeup than usual. They kind of remind me of 90s Barbies, but a little more tasteful. The material is extremely, extremely soft. Let's take off these gloves. They're held on with elastic bands. I don't have anybody to really put these on. Oh, maybe Puma Boy, of course, Puma Boy gets the gloves. And that's what the paws look like, the front paws. And then, yeah. I was hoping these would be as rubbery as this. Nobody really said, but they are rubber. Rubbery, chewy, chewy, gummy, gummy, really fat, really thick. But look how small Barbie's feet are. There's no way that they're fitting on jumbo BTS boy feet because they have some of the biggest doll feet that are out there. Him and this Superman, Batman body. But I'm gonna try to do it anyway. But my guess is no. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna ruin the shoes either. Oh, yeah, it, it totally worked. And it kind of matches the fur on his face. So yeah, I'm down with that. I guess I'd better take off his shirt though. I really like this outfit that I have on him. I'm gonna have to put him back in it. That's the trick I find to a lot of dolls. If they come with colored hair, you're limited to, you know, a complementary color. She would look good in yellow, but mostly she's going to wear purple or black and white basics. Black and white basics look good on anybody. That's why I have these girls in their basic outfits. She keeps doing backflips off of the ring. Okay, I guess before we look at the clothes in more detail, I am excited to see this body. Am I going to like the body? Am I going to replace it? Sometimes when you have molded on stuff, I don't like molded on things as much as the next guy, but sometimes when it's done really right, it can look really old fashioned and it can look like an antique doll, like her head. I love how these color reveal heads turned out so much that this is my favorite doll. I don't have to worry about messing with any hair and it it looks like an antique whoa whoa doll head. I do love the face though. Very very pretty more glamorous. You know what I might do? I might end up putting these color reveal heads on these bodies. Maybe I can make this 100% molded doll and I'll like it because it'll be like an action figure. I do like that they're kind of, I mean they're granny panties so they're kind of old-fashioned esque. I think we looked enough at her. I like her. I love the face. I kind of like the bathing suit. You can twist the hands so they can point in different directions. It just seems like because you're messing with the elbow but if you turn the elbow back you can make her hold things like this. I saw some people struggling with their hands, but if you can turn it, and then so her hand isn't always pointing in that direction, see? You just have to turn around the elbow, and that looks good, I don't mind that. You just have to be strategic with your positioning. If you have her like this, and you don't want her hand out, just give it a, straighten it out, give it a little twist. And then you can put her hand down below. Yeah, that's not so bad. And I like that pose on her. So maybe that has potential. Maybe I do want to make it an all solid action doll. I don't know, we'll see. The pants, there's no lining. It is just the backside of the fur. Who doesn't love like a, a Barbie logo on it? The pants are what I was struggling with the most until I was messing around with this Monster High and BTS doll and I kind of decided that I think I prefer these bodies more than the Create a Monster bodies because they're a little more sturdier. I guess I prefer the Ken doll, so maybe I might even want to put them on a Ken doll. So will these pants fit on at least a BTS? Yeah, of course they will because the BTS pants fit on 
Barbie very well, which if you watched my BTS videos, you would have seen that. So here we go, we have a Puma and he's got these shorts on. And let's put his Puma sneakers back on. Can't they look like fuzzy track pants? I'm gonna have to do another video and see if they fit on Ken, but this is the first video and you know, we're running out of time, but that's cool. And we have to try this jacket on everybody. Okay, so the thing is you're supposed to turn them inside out. Some of them have an inside out pattern that I like. I don't mind a crazy lining inside a blazer. I've had some really outlandish patterns inside. This is not one that I think is classy. Turning this around backwards and making this like a great fur coat is the answer for me for this jacket. I haven't seen anybody try to make this fur coat look glamorous. This was the first thing that I thought of that I really wanted to do. I wanted to put it on a guy with a gun and I guess preferably shirtless. And then I wanted to see if the coat could look like a fancy coat and you know what it does oh my goodness i didn't open up any of the blind bags yet there's so much more i thought it was done i mean there is this white stripe down the back we don't have to think about that you put a scarf on that it could look okay but the jacket looks better open and it does look quite glamorous okay i'm very happy with that this is the other thing the other great thing I always love the color reveal skirts. The patterns are really nice if they have them on it. Now this is a very thin material. The edges aren't finished on it. It's thin and thin is good for Barbie land. They wrinkled it a lot being in the bag, but let's see how it fits on Little Miss Backflip. So I tried to put on a versatile top for her and I made sure I chose an original because the other doll is an original but I bet it will look good on my WWE bodies. And here it is, it sparkles. I mean, people did say that this, and I didn't want to agree with it, but it might be the worst made Barbie skirt I've ever seen, but it's really easy to dress up. So it could be easily dressed up and look fancy. It needs some, some time out of the bag to get the wrinkles out, and that's gonna help a lot. I also have a little piece of material up here that's not finished. You know what? It can be cut off. So I'm going to give that a little trim at the top there and that'll neaten things up a little bit. I could wear it backwards. Have the ruffle on the bum. Just the, the wrinkles have to come out of it, but it's looking pretty good on camera. Okay, what else do we got here? The bags are paper. That's a great thing. And the tube is made of cardboard. I'm gonna have a hard time parting with this. The comb is made really, really nice. We've got the, the, the makeup changes color and you can take off the nose. What else do I got here? They're $40 in Canada, guys, $40. This is really thick and hunky and chunky. Those are puppy ears, that's cute. It's way thicker than any headband that I've ever gotten before. So the quality of that is good. And I kind of like hiding it behind her hair a little bit because it looks that much more real, okay? I thought I wouldn't like it on her. I was gonna, I don't know who I was gonna pawn it off on. We got Panthor here. We're using a WWE, Masters of the WWE ring. But here are the purple boots that came with the set. And the dolls came with flat feet, so all the shoes are gonna be flat feet. They're nice boots. Purple isn't a color that I like to use, but it definitely works out well for this review. Something else in here that's really heavy. Oh, I forgot. Okay, I don't know how. People aren't very happy about these. Oh. I thought I just broke it. It looked like it had articulation. It does have articulation at the neck and it's got little hearts on its face and it's got a little tongue out. It's really super cute. I don't want to play with them together, but I don't mind collecting these. They would be great for dioramas and putting them on the shelf, of a kid's room or even as an ornament on a shelf. Can't wait to collect all of them. Oh, I gotta put the Puma boy's hands back on his hands. BTS have smaller hands than Ken, but I think you will get them on the Ken if you want to. 
and I'm pretty sure the fur coat is going to fit on him too. You'll have to see at the end of the video. But that looks pretty good. Seder. Did I just remember? It's called a Seder. Is there more? I think there's more. No, that's it. That's everything. Let's look at this propaganda here. See if we remembered everything. Cutie revealed. Can't wait to get the other ones. They're so fun. I kind of want to get two of each now because I'd love to keep one as is. I guess normally I could keep them as is and then I could just take some pictures for Instagram with the little specialties. Oh no. That's the other ones coming in right now. Let's see which one it is. Yep, it is the panda arriving today. So expect the panda review coming really, really soon. Uh, you want to see other things? Okay, I will put this jacket on her at the end and I guess on him at the end too. And also leave a comment for me down below what and who you want to try what on. All right, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Okay, as promised, can we look at this fur coat again? I like it as a fur coat. I think that does look classy. Stay tuned to Instagram. It's a lot tidier and neater. You're going to get better looking results than I have time to do here. But yep, I am loving this as a gray fur coat. Okay, and with the right top on... I refuse to show this print. There are two of them that the prints are really like 70s-esque on the inside and I don't mind them. But I don't really like hearts. So I don't think I'm going to show you that today. I could come back in another video and we could look at that. Yeah, I think they did a good job at matching the colors. It's probably better to put this stuff on a different doll though than on the doll that it came with. The doll that it came with, though, is perfect to put the whole bunny suit on. I think that these molded on, the molded on-ness is really growing on me. Articulation in the knees and twists, articulate in, and twist, and there's minimal outward movement here, but they go back and forth. Arms go all the way around and outward and elbows I showed you, and you can twist them and get different poses than you think you can. Oh, this guy looks amazing in this. Oh, I don't have, I don't have him on a flexing body, but yeah, it's so good. It's total Fortnite. Totally, that's what I was thinking of. Let's put the jacket on him. Can he wear, can Superman wear the jacket and then i'll have to can superman wear the pants in the next video because superman has a much bigger body it's kind of like a shrug on him but he can wear it it does fit there's enough shoulder room yeah no the the fur coat could look really good you could really pimp this daddy up cool like comment share and subscribe